Revenge films. This is the story about the time I got a very special revenge on my wife who cheated on me. At the time, I was living with my wife, and we didn't have any children. But I wanted to have kids. So my wife was working part-time as a waitress at a wedding venue so that she could easily adjust her schedule if and when we were to have kids. One day, I got sick at work, and I went home early, when I noticed that the curtains to the bedroom were completely closed. Normally, we always had them open, so I thought it was strange as I went up to my room. When I opened up the front door, I saw a pair of shoes that I had never seen before. I had never worn loafers before once in my life, and my male instincts gave me a bad feeling. So I slowly went inside of the house, and for some reason, my feet took me past the living room and straight towards the bedroom. When I got there, the door was slightly cracked open, and I could clearly see my wife inside of the bed, going at it with a man that I had never seen before. My mind went completely blank, but then I scrambled to pull my phone out of my pocket to take a few photos, and then I slowly traced my steps and quietly left the house. I had to take a few deep breaths to calm down my emotions that were full of anger and despair and disappointment. And then, I waited in a spot that was a blind spot from the apartment, and I called my wife. I told her that I wasn't feeling well, and I was on my way home from the office. And I could tell in her voice that she was really panicked. She said okay, and immediately hung up the phone. Then, not long after that, a man came running out of the house. So I made sure to save that as a video. Then I immediately called my wife again, and told her that, instead of going home, I was going to go straight to the hospital. I could have gone home and confronted my wife on the spot, but there were too many things that I didn't know, including the identity of the man. So for now, I held it in, and made it a priority to gather as much information as I could. I decided that I was going to do everything I could to get revenge on those two. Since I had a photo of her boyfriend, first I decided to ask mutual friends of my wife and I if any of them knew him. Of course, if that didn't work, then I thought about using a detective agency, or whatever it took. But the first mutual friend that I asked was a hit. It turns out that this guy and my wife work at the same place, and that he was the manager of the restaurant at the wedding venue. On top of that, apparently, he was also married, which meant that they were having a double affair. Now that I knew where he worked, all I had to do was to follow him after work one day and I would easily get his address. So I decided to leave him for now. Next, after I realized I was being cheated on, I quickly bought small hidden cameras, and I hid them throughout the house. I saved all of the footage of my wife and this guy having their affair. To be honest, when I checked all of it, it was worse than any hell I could have imagined, but I was able to get through it with only the motivation of revenge. Neither of them had a single clue that I had caught on to them, and they were so into each other. It was disgusting as they enjoyed having their affair. That is, without any idea that I was saving all of it. And then, once I had gathered enough data, I moved on to the next stage. Normally, my parents and my wife's parents don't have much of a relationship with each other. But every now and then, we go out to eat together. This time, I decided to use that opportunity. Usually, we go out to eat at a restaurant. But this time... I suggested that maybe we could do barbecue at our house. And that weekend, I had the parents from both sides come over. On the day of, my wife didn't know anything, and she helped to prepare everything in a great mood to welcome our parents. If you look at it like this, we looked like a normal, married couple. And even now, I couldn't believe that my wife was betraying me behind my back. But I'm not so much of a pushover that I could see that kind of situation and just laugh about it. At about 7 o'clock that evening, both of our parents arrived, and my wife began to prepare the barbecue in the kitchen. There, I told my parents that they can sit back and relax and watch some TV, and I pretended like I was turning the TV on, but instead, I played them footage of my wife having her affair. All four parents who were looking at the screen were stunned. My wife was walking out of the kitchen to bring dishes to the table, and when she saw that, all of the dishes shattered at her feet. An incredible noise echoed throughout the house. The first person to raise his voice was my father-in-law. And before I knew it, he was in front of my wife. What the hell is this? Want to explain this to us? 
His voice boomed throughout the room. My wife had lost all strength in her, and she was shaking from head to toe while her head was swimming from side to side. I'm sure she never could have imagined that her affair would be exposed in a place like this, and it seems she couldn't make a sound out of her mouth. So instead, I decided to speak. You were cheating on me, weren't you? In this house, many times, inviting that guy over. N no What do you mean, no? I have all of the evidence. And as you can see, I've got plenty of photos as well. Remember that time I said I wasn't feeling well, and I called you? Actually, at that time, I'd been home once already. But then, I saw you two right in the act. And without thinking, I quietly left the house and vowed to get revenge. Seeing the footage of his daughter's affair, my father-in-law was furious. And my mother-in-law was so shocked that she looked like she might pass out on the spot. And my parents went by to support her. It seemed my wife still hadn't recovered from the shock. So I continued. I'm sure you know this is coming. But I'll be getting a divorce from you. And you will be paying a full settlement fee. I already know that your boyfriend works in the same place as you. And that he's your boss. So I've already contacted your workplace. And I'm sure you'll both be getting the punishment you deserve. When I said that... My wife started to cry and beg. I'm sorry, please forgive me! I'll never do it again! That's what she said. But unfortunately for her, from the moment that I vowed to get revenge on the two of them, I'd already decided that I would never, ever get back together with my wife. Even if we were to be able to start over, I'm sure this incident would never leave my heart for the rest of my life. Seeing my wife's reaction, my father-in-law got even more angry as he pulled her away from me. How can you do such a pathetic thing? You've done something that should obviously result in a divorce. Why are you trying to apologize now? If you're going to apologize, then you never should have done something like this from the beginning. He said, and I couldn't agree more. Perhaps my wife thought that I was never going to discover her affair. But for them, to be cheating in my house, where there was the highest risk of being caught, I couldn't help but think how stupid they both were. My wife kept repeating that she didn't want to end things with me and to start over, but in the end, she was forcefully dragged out by her parents and taken back to their house. After that, I told my in-laws that until the divorce went through, I didn't want to see my wife if I could avoid it as much as possible, and they said that they would look after her at their house. My in-laws instantly agreed, and they even apologized to me over and over again. Next, I moved on to my revenge on her boyfriend. As for that revenge, I used a lawyer, and I had the full contents of the affair sent to his house. When I looked up his address, it was a double whammy, and I already knew that he was actually living with his wife and her parents. And after that, I took myself to their workplace, and I showed the higher-ups the footage of my wife and her manager having the affair. When I told them that the staff of a wedding venue that should be connecting two people as they vow their love to each other were having an affair, for some reason... Their bosses got down on their knees to apologize to me. That being said, their bosses didn't do anything wrong. So I stopped them immediately. And I told them that I would leave the rest to their judgment. As I walked out of their offices. After that, everything was a fit of rage. Immediately after that, the boyfriend was fired from his job. On top of that, it turned out that his wife's family were actually the owners of a pretty large company. And in order to make their family house livable for two families, they were living in a pretty large house. But this time, since his affair was discovered, their divorce was instantly decided. Obviously, he was kicked out of that house. And more than anything, he had hurt the daughter of such a family along with their reputation. And he was sued for a rather large settlement fee. Of course, for me as well. When I went to go meet the guy along with my lawyer, he was completely pale at the fact that I had known everything all along and that I even had the evidence. And he crumbled on the spot. He must have recognized that his life was over already, although that was going to be the case. After that, the boyfriend lost his job and his house. And I heard that he was sued for a settlement fee so high that even if he got a proper full-time job, he would probably never be able to pay it back for the rest of his life. I don't know how he plans on paying it from here on out, but I'm sure he's going to be spending the entire rest of his life in order to pay it back. My divorce from my wife also went through. 
My now ex-wife tried to say she didn't want to break up until the very end, but my father-in-law slapped that down. And then, so that she couldn't do such an embarrassing thing like that ever again, apparently, he sent her off to a factory deep in the mountains only for women that was almost like a prison. And my father-in-law said that he was going to make her work there until she paid back the full settlement fee. Along with the settlement fee that I sued her for, it turned out that the wife of her boyfriend also sued her for quite a large amount. And her father said that she wasn't going to let her leave the mountain until she paid it all back too. For both of them, they did this all to themselves. All I wanted was to have a simple happiness that you might be able to find anywhere. And I never could have imagined that I would be cheated on. So to be honest, I think I'm going to have my guard up about any marriage from now on. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.